Mama Kiura, we are here for you. We are coming to you. We are going to walk and go walk with you. What you know? Building with honourable member for Dagoret. I have said, I, I rise to defend the Deputy President, the Honourable Rigade Joyfrey Gashagwa, against a process that I feel personally as my opinion, it is mass, uh, uh, it is uh, mob justice against the presi Deputy President because he has not been given the right of Libra before we went for public participation. That is what I've said. On Honorable Wamchomba. According to the studying Hon order Hon here. Honorable Wamchomba, that is neither factual nor legal because the Deputy President is appearing before this House at five. So be factual. Mr. Speaker, yes. please allow me to execute my go point ahead, and you can, you, can, you can guide. Procedurally, Mr. Speaker, the fact sheets that were distributed in our constituencies had allegations that were read out to members of public as facts. So to me, the fact sheets that were distributed in our constituencies were fact sheets that were communicating facts. But from where I come from, Mr. Speaker, what was typed in those papers was not factual and needed to be interrogated. And I'm glad that the Deputy President is appearing in an hour's time here to come and clear the air. Mr. Speaker, before I defend and I, I give my, my, my submission, I request you to allow me to refer to the studying order number 91 on responsibility for statement of Ladies and gentlemen, Kama is a real bitch. Kodo wa Urumwe Kinyata wameogea. Damu ya Kodo wa Urumwe Kinyata. The ship that was stolen in the Northern Farm in Ruilo. The lad associated with the former first family, Kinyata's family. Is what is eating Gashagwa. If you look at Uhurumwe Kenyatta, Uhurumwe Kenyatta has never commented. He has never complained about that farm. He has never asked for the stolen ship. He has never. But just a few months down the line, Gashagwa is crying. I'm looking at the aga in the National Assembly and even those who are actually on the side of Kashagwa, like Gadon Mushoba and uh, some other few people, they are unable to defend Kashagwa. He is indefensible. Because Nikifo chanyani abapo miti yote huteleza, ama kweli hii imeteleza. In the African traditional society, in the Kikuyu community, in most cases, the blood of sheep, the blood of buzi, kodo, haimwagi, pasi na sababu. If you ask men, wherever the goods are being sorted or shipped, they will ask you, why? Why are we eating this? Why are we sorting it? And the host normally explains to the guest why that ship or that goat is being sorted. But as we have heard from one member of parliament, here is the one who authorized the invasion of the northern farm. And Ogopasana, 
when you steal from somebody and he does not ask you any question. He doesn't comment about it. He doesn't comment about it. Uhuru must have cried that day. I was looking at that fire and that is why I have put this video here. The fire that was burning in Northern Farm. I've seen those guys carrying on their backs a ship and wakiweka kwa magari yao. And I think Uhuru Mwake Kenyatta must have wept. Because remember this is a president who had ruled this country for 10 years. This was a president who had even protected and actually supported Kikuyus in 2007. And I think this should be a lesson. A lesson to many members of parliament. A lesson to those who are in the executive, to those who are in the judiciary, those who are in the legislature. They have a lesson to learn. Because when I look at Kashagwa again, I've noted that um, people do not like Konyeshwa Tubo. Usionyeshwa Tubo wakatu meshiba. Usionyeshe machakula. Yeah, machakula ukikula. Lati kwa tubo hii ya machakula umekula. Ah ah. Don't show them that. I think that is what Kashagwa did during yesterday's interview. And when I, when I look at um, the tone, you know, I told you to listen to the tone, the tone of the speakers, the speaker himself, members of parliament, and even the women, when they are speaking, the pitch is very, very high, meaning they are very, very angry. I'm looking at the emotions in parliament. The emotions are at fever pitch. I'm listening to every word that is being uttered here, and I'm concluding that Gashagwa must have offended so many people. From Akina Karori Omodi, that he was even commanding uh, William Samuel Ruto, would tell them, you have to leave Nyanza, you have to go, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm listening to women, that they were being called prostitutes, Timalaya. That is what women are saying. And who would support such a person for sure, if for example he has ever uh, called you uh, such names? When I look at this emotion, I can conclude a number of things. Number one, the goose is already cooked. Number two, Yashagwa may find it very, very hard to survive this impeachment. Number three, Yashagwa has accumulated a lot of wealth. A lot of wealth. Whichever method he has used to accumulate the wealth, I don't know. But it looked like there are so many loopholes. It looked like uh, even that wealth from his brother, it, it, it looked like it is actually contested. Uh, from, uh, I think, page 16 all the way to 30, he, on that uh, huge document that has been presented in Parliament, the documents, the piles are showing very clearly that the former governor of Nyeri's family are crying. That's a message that's coming uh, from Parliament. So you see, Gashagwa has offended so many people and that is why you see firework in parliament. That's why you see even uh, the speaker himself look like uh, he's celebrating. He's celebrating the impeachment for having a shadow. So, when you are climbing up, when you are climbing up, be very careful. Because when you are uh, uh, coming down, you might need people to support you. This is what happened to Gandhi Shagwa. And uh, it looked like he was stepping on toes of everybody without caring. Remember the way he was able to even interfere with minor Jagger's work when he was actually interfering with the youth, when he was actually trying to mobilize the youth? Remember the way he hurt Uhuru Mwai Kenyatta? Remember the way he was talking? And I think Rigadhika Shagwa Amejimariza Yeye Mwenyewe. Rigadhika Shagwa, I think from where he sit, you can hear even the birds are asking what is happening. The birds of the air can even get the message. I don't know whether you can get the message, but the videos here can attest that Damu ya Buzi na Kodo wa Uhuru dio sasa inalia dio sasa inaitisha haki yake na dio inamsubua rikahadhi ya shagwa. The funny thing is that he never bothered to even maybe ensure that those people who invaded the northern farm are arrested and the sheep are returned. He never bothered. And I don't know what you think, but from where I sit, please 
things are not very good on the side of the Galia Chagua. And I question one thing, like in the video, as the birds continue celebrating these impediments. Bye-bye.